Hey guys, this is MaxMellow94 here, and uh, I decided to do a review video of my MTH462 Batum Pacific Blue Comet starter set. Um, this is apparently the I may not I may be wrong or not, but this is the first starter set that MTH has ever produced of the famous Blue Comet passenger train. Um, for those of you who may know or may not know, um, MTH has been MTH has made this has made the Blue Comet as a premier liner um, for many years, so it's usually more expensive. Uh, the starter set. I was when I got it. I was happy to know. I was happy to know that there was a starter set version of this. Um, as with Rail King starter sets, they're not always as detailed, but they are still very nice. And in some cases, um, and in normally they are smaller in length than the Premier Line trains. Um, this set was made was released in 2008 ready to run um, train sets catalog it it was cataloged at 350 bucks as with any other rail king starter set I got it at a store called train world in Brooklyn for 275 but um as a warning for people who might if whoever lives in New York, if you want to buy from Train World, which I would recommend buying them, buying the stuff from there, um, their their stuff is cheaper than what these things are cataloged for. Um, but when you buy something, they, I mean, this is the first set that I buy on my own. Uh, I have other train sets here that I've that I've received as gifts. Um, I have the Lionel Polar Express train set. That is packed away. Um, it's packed away in its box since it's not Christmas. Um, and usually this is unusual for me to run this stuff in the summer, but I felt like running them in the summer just because um, I'm not always doing something nowadays. Um, I am trying to get a job and everything, but anyway, I um. Yeah, the set is, um, it's really nice actually for a star set, um, the thing, what I was saying at Train World, they usually tax you, so, the set was 275 but the, with the tax, I, w I had to pay 295 so it's, I think if you buy a train set there, they're like, yeah, I think a $20 tax, I may be wrong, but just a warning in case, in case um any, in case that becomes in case that's a regular thing if the tax is twenty dollars for any set always bring like twenty or thirty dollars more than what the set will cost I did that um, just in case I did that just in case of anything I think actually I think because my mom got me the Polar Express a few years back and when she got it I think um those is a hobby store here in Bronx, in the Bronx, they had the pull. They we had them order the Polar Express. She paid. I think they usually carried it at that time. It was like two eighty five or something like that, um, or two seventy five. I'm not sure. And she paid three hundred dollars. So I'm assuming anything with this is usually a tax of uh, twenty dollars or more. So yeah, always keep always bring more money, and um, and if the train sets require anything, just in case, uh, like for example, if you buy a set, if it's a train that is by itself, it doesn't come with track or a controller, then um, just buy maintenance kit, save money up for the tax and like any little thing that you might need so always always buy a maintenance kit in case you're buying a set from years ago um, if anything get the ProSound battery ProSound 2.0 battery um, for those of you who are who are starting this out um, I'll give you a little um, info on this on the train itself the Blue Comet um, passenger train was a three was a was a series liner 
um, that was pulled by three engines, three different engines apparently. Um, A31, um, as it says here on this train, this is the first. Uh, this is the first number train of the series, A31, and then there's A32 and A3 and A33. The Blue Comet ran for the Central of New Jersey, or New Jersey Central, like New York Central, um, for 12 years. And the passenger cars, ha are, um, the train was, was designed for really a, a bit of, like, it kind of like had a, like a royal touch to it, so it was, it was a bit of, it was one of those, like, luxury express trains for New Jersey. Um, it ran for 12 years, I believe in the 1920s and then into the 30s it ran for 12 years um, between New Jersey City and Atlantic City um, I would show um, I would run this as far as making the stops but um, I have a video up that shows this train in action and it has one of, and it shows it at one of the stops um, and yeah, the it's it's really nice. Um, as you can see, there there's supposed to be a nameplate. There's supposed to be a nameplate right here. But um, I when I first bought it, I me being a, a a young teenager at that time, I was like I think 14. I just started high school, so you know I I ran it very fast at one point, and it fell over to the off the track. And I didn't notice that the plate that the plate was gone until a few minutes later, and I never found it until I was cleaning my floor and I saw this blue piece, but I never dared to flip it over because I'm usually I, ha I I have a lot of stuff and I'm trying to get rid of it. So at that time I I ignored it and I believed it was the name plate for the train, and now I regret doing that because I can't find a replacement piece for this so far. I might have to go to a train show or something. Anyway, um, yeah, the set is very nice. The passenger, the um, the passenger cars are named after famous comets. I think the blue comet was based off of that too. Um, the creator of it wanted to do that. I think the the sites of comets inspired inspired him. Um, it's very nice. It's a very nice train. I love the idea of a blue engine. It has this nice. Um, it has not bad detail. Um, you have your bell here, the boilers, and yeah, it has great smoke. Um, it has great clear, clear crystal sounds. Um, Although I do feel like sometimes these trains look like toys instead of actual models. I feel like Lionel trains, they have their even their simplest set has like great detail. I'm not talking Thomas. I'm talking you know if you were to get at the Polar Express, it has very great detail for a starter set. The only thing is missing. If it had great sound, that would be like the perfect solution. Um, they have different names on them. This one is Albers. Um, I think it says Faye, F-A-Y-E, and the other one is Temple. You can't see it because it's behind this trunk. Um, yeah, um, as far as finding it, I'm not sure how well you'll find it. Your best luck is either online or at train shows for now. Because I looked up on MTH, um, I, can, I can't find it at any stores um, so far, as far as anyone that uses the product locator. So, um, it's very nice, um, and, yeah, it runs smoothly, as with other NCH trains, um, the, the cars have great lighting, the, the light balls, I've had this train for four years, and I've never had a problem with it, um, it runs great, um, the battery always, um, whenever you don't run it, um, the battery will go low. The battery produces the sound. So, but what's good is that whenever you run it, it will charge the battery as it runs. So run it regularly. Like if you're not gonna run in the summer, um, just take advantage of like fall, winter, the majority of, of, of stuff, and then just pack it away during the summer. Or if you have shelves, just display it 
for for that time being. So um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it and check out the uh, my other video of this set so you can see better action. I would do it now. It's just that the controller that came with this set um, it just recently busted out on me, um, which is I mean I I I hate that because I'm trying to get a new set right now, but um. You know, I, uh, I guess, you know, whatever. Luckily, the train has never been a problem. I, I, I don't mind the controller. I mean, you know, where you want the controller. Just because that, that controller gives it better sound. Um, and I have Lionel's CW80, but, 80 watt, but, um, it's no good, so. It's not going to let, allow me to do a station sequence because you have to press buttons um, for the station sequence, for those of you who want to know ahead of time, it's one press of the bell, so it would be bell, whistle, whistle, but you have to give it half a second, the manual will tell you. And another hint, um, just for future reference, the tracks that it comes with, um, has, they have spring loads underneath them, so, so over time... Um, after connecting and unconnecting the tracks, they're going to wear out. They're going to be pushed all the way in. Um, so just push, so just pin them out after a while. Um, but I'm recently going to have to change my tracks because I did that, but the connection won't go through that well anymore. So um, I'm just going to have to change those. I'm going to get new tracks so that way I can make this track longer. So that way it won't be too small as opposed to this long set of fast track, Lionel fast track. Which I find good, but it's too loud, so it's so annoying. So I would I would still recommend real tracks. They're quite they're actually very quiet. All you would hear is the rails and the pleasant sound of clickety clacking of track of the train. So I hope you had a good time. Sorry if this is too long for you, but um I hope this influences you to get this train set or try to find it if you if this if you want to. Um, they released an imperial version a few years later, but so. But if you if you prefer this set, um, I don't know any stores that still have it. But um, if anything, try to look for them. Um, if anything else, there's train shows. And um, online, I'm sure a lot of people will sell it for a good price online. Uh, just choose wisely. You you want a good one. Um, if it is used, you got to make sure that it's in mint condition. Nothing's wrong with it. And you know, so always buy parts just in case. All right. Take care and thank you for watching.